Uh. Okay guys, I have to make this video real quick because I just went to open my editing software and it said that I did not have access to it because it's dumb, so I'm doing this video. It's kind of unprofessional. There's no real editing, but this is the best I can do for right now. So I'm just gonna get to my mains and goals for Mo Champs. Okay, moving. We're just gonna start right away with free by free. Uh, for free by free, I'm using the RS3M V5. This one is my main, and this is also an RS3M V5, which is my backup, except it's not very good. Like, at all. This turning quality is kind of bad. It's really catchy. See, I can't even finish an owl properly on this thing. So my goals for Free Free are making, uh, my goals are to make finals if that's possible, which I hope it is. Get a sub 9.5 single, and also, um, a sub 11 average, because my PR average right now is 11.25, and that PR is kind of annoying one to have. Uh, for one-handed, I'm also using my RSGM V5. My goals are a low 15 average and a low 13 single, and also to podium. I do have a chance of winning one-handed, but it's a low chance, and if I podium, I'll be happy either way. Four by four, I'm using my Cubicle Pro Shop MGC. I don't expect to beat ever my PRs because my single is P my single. It was PB seven at the time, and uh, my average is also pretty oh, good. Um, I think. Ugh. Sorry, I think that I'll be happy if I get like a 50 or a 51 average and a 41 or a 42 single. So let's say those are my goals. Uh, for 5 x 5 I'm using the Dian 5 x 5 I've had this for two years and I will definitely get the Gan 5 x 5 or the Hong when I actually need one, but for now, this still does okay. Hmm. And my goals are a decent average uh, sub 140. I have, and ugh, I have no idea. I have no goals for the single, so let's just hope for a sub 140 average. For six by six, my best cube is a Shadow V2, but I'll hope to borrow someone else's Aushi or MGC. And my only goal is to make cutoff, which means a sub four single. It is possible on this cube, but it's a lot. It would be a lot more doable if I had someone else's cube. So, yeah. I also don't practice six by six because it takes too long. Uh, two by two. I don't know why I didn't do this first. I'm using an MGC Elite. This was originally Angstrom setup, but I've had it for two years, so it the lube is died out. Uh, my goals are um, a sub three single and a low four second average. I guess. For Pyraminx, I have no goals because I freaking hate Pyraminx. For Megaminx, I have, I'm using the YJ, no, I'm using the Cubicle Pro Shop Yuhu V2M. I've had this for a while. I actually practiced, brrr, I actually practiced Megaminx a lot over the last week, and I dropped my average of 100 by about 8 seconds. So, I'm hoping for a sub 130 average and a sub 120 single. My PB is a 102, but it was pretty lucky, and it was also keyboard, so I have no idea if I could actually beat that. But yeah, let's just hope for some relatively good times. What else do I have? Okay, the next is Scube. 
Uh, I'm using the Wingy V2, and I forget what my goals were for Skub. I guess just, no, making second round is not going to even be a challenge. I'm just going to hope for a low four single and a sub seven average. My PRs are definitely not going to be beaten because they're really good, and I have not practice much skew leading up to this comp. My main focus is I've been Mega Minx and OH. So I'm a little off practice in skew. I do hope to get a Gan skew eventually, but not but it won't definitely won't come in time before this competition. And the last event is square one. I had signed up for blind, but I decided to cancel it. I took blind off my registration because I wasn't having fun with it. Anyways, for square one, my only goal is PR average. And in order to get PR average, I will have to make cutoff. Be and just let me t tell you right now, guys. There is, uh, I got a, I don't know. But there is this one case on square one that I can never remember the execution for. So hopefully, hey, I actually remember how to do that when competing time comes. Because if I don't, I might get a DNF and I may not even make cutoff. I don't even know what the cutoff is at the moment, so let's just hope I don't DNF. Yeah. Anyways, guys, those are all my mains and goals for Mo Champs 2024. Huh? And yeah. If you're going, please say so in the comments. Maybe I'll put you in a video or something. I don't know, guys. I don't know what kind of video I'm going to make for MoChamps. I'm sorry this video was unprofessional, but I had no other options. Anyways, thank you for watching. Keep on cubing, and goodbye.